Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we're gonna do a step-by-step -step walkthrough on how to program your Android phone to basically automate starting up Yavi 1 when you start your car and then shut down your phone uh, once you stop your car. We're gonna do that by running the app Llama. And uh, we're gonna start by doing just kind of the basics and then we're gonna add some more uh, advanced stuff to make it a little bit fancier. So uh, once you install Llama, I'll put a link in the video description to where you can download it. It's a free app. You're gonna fire it up and you'll notice here in the main section we have a couple different uh, tabs. There's areas, events, profiles, etc. Uh, we're going to want to go to events. Uh, you'll see I have some here pre-programmed, like for example with Escort Live, uh, I have a, a setting here so when I make a connection to the Max360 over Bluetooth, I run Escort Live. Uh, we're going to do something a little bit similar here uh, for Yavi 1. So here's the way it's going to work. On the bottom right hand corner, you see that plus button? We're going to go ahead and press that. And this is going to allow us to create a new event. So we're going to click up here and edit the name. Let's go ahead and edit this and we'll call it maybe Yavi1 on. For example. So, okay. We'll call it that. And then uh, you have the option of creating a group. Um, this will be kind of all the profiles within a certain group. So for example, we'll just call it V1. For example, you can call it whatever you like. So these are going to be all the different profiles that we're going to set up for the V1. Excellent. So we hit back and then we hit OK. Perfect. And now you'll notice we have this checkbox here for enabled. Uh, we want the checkbox checked so that this action will work for now. And then you'll notice now there's uh, two buttons that we're going to want to use. There's add condition and add action. Uh, add condition is basically what is our trigger that uh, tells this event to run. So we're going to click add condition. And what I found works best is to trigger when um, the phone receives power. When the car turns on, uh, the phone will get power from the car and I want that to be my trigger. So we're gonna go down here to uh, charged or unplugged. And then we're gonna say charging from any source and we'll click that, perfect. So now when the phone is charging from any source, I want it to do something. Uh, you could try maybe triggering off like Bluetooth stuff, um, but I found that connects and dis disconnects. It's not quite as uh, reliable. For dedicated phone, I like the uh, charging from any source action. Uh, anyways, we're going to hit next, uh, add action, and we're going to say once our phone is plugged in and charging, I want it to launch Yavi 1. And to do that, we're going to scroll down, and you'll see there's an option, run application. So we'll click that. It'll load up all the different applications, and then we're going to want to scroll all the way down to the bottom. They're alphabetical, and we're going to go down to Yavi 1, and we'll click that. Perfect. So now when the phone is plugged in and charging, it's going to run Yavi 1. Uh, we're going to add a second action to tell it to turn on the screen because in the next part, we're going to tell it to uh, turn off the screen to save power. So let's tell it to also turn on the screen. Uh, we'll go to add action. And then we're going to go to screen on. So we'll tap that. And we've got a couple different options. You may want to experiment with uh, what you turn on. Um, you can just use bright with, if you want the button lights to also light up, you can do that. If you want just the screen, we can do that one. Um, we'll do this for now. You can experiment and see what works best for your particular phone. So awesome. Now that that's done, we'll hit back. And you'll notice now we have a profile here uh, for the V1. And one of the events in there is going to be Yavi 1 on. And you'll see when it's charging from any source, we're going to run Yavi 1 and turn on the screen. Awesome. Uh, now let's create the second half. Uh, what happens when we turn off our car and the phone loses power? Uh, in that case, we want our phone to go into kind of like a power saving option, right? So to do that, we're going to hit the plus again. And uh, let's go ahead and create another name. We'll call it maybe Yavi1 off. And then for the event group, we want it under the same group. So we're going to type in V1 here again. Perfect. Okay, now we'll hit okay. There we go. So this is gonna be our event for when the car turns off. Uh, you'll notice enabled is still checked. So we're gonna do a similar sort of thing. We're gonna go to add condition now, and we're gonna say when the car turns off, the phone is gonna lose power. So when the phone loses power, in that situation, we're gonna wanna go to charging or unplugged, and we're gonna scroll down to using battery. So when the phone is now running on battery, that's the equivalent of uh, the car's been turned off. So we'll hit using battery, and then now we're gonna to wanna to add our action. And for our action, we're gonna say, we want our phone to basically go into low power mode, right? And uh, 
if we turn our phone off completely, we're not gonna be able to turn it back on automatically. So we need to go into kind of like a sleep state and not a uh, completely turned off state. So one thing that you could do is we're gonna go down here and turn the screen off. There we go, tap screen off, and we're all set. If you hit back, now you'll notice we have our two different actions here. You can see uh, for Yavi 1 on underneath, uh, when the phone gets power, the car turns on, we're gonna run Yavi 1 and we're gonna turn our screen on. Uh, once we're done driving, we turn our car off. Uh, the phone is gonna go back to running off the battery and we're gonna turn off the screen. Uh, you can always test this at any point by going into the profile and on the bottom right, you hit test actions. If you tap that, it'll go ahead and launch everything and you can see it in action just to make sure that everything is working. There's two settings that I like to have set up in Yavi 1 as well to help out with this process, so let's do that. Uh, if you've got Yavi 1 fired up, we're going to go into the settings, and then we're going to go settings, and then general settings right here. And there's two things that we're going to do. Number one, we're going to want connect automatically checked. Uh, this way, once Yavi 1 gets triggered and starts up from Llama, it's then going to automatically connect to the V1 for us. So we're going to want that checked. Uh, the second thing that we're going to want is auto stop timeout. Uh, I have it set right here to one minute. And the idea here is when our phone uh, goes into low power mode, right, basically turns off the screen, uh, Yavi 1 is going to automatically stop itself after a minute. Uh, this is a cleaner way than maybe telling Llama to like force kill the app. Um, it's better for shutting down. Uh, you don't necessarily need root for it or anything. So this is just the preferred way of doing it versus telling uh, Llama to kill the app. So uh, that's how I like to actually stop the app once uh, our car is turned off. Perfect. So now what we can do, um, turning off the screen brightness I think is a good start. Uh, there's still other things running in the background like your GPS, your Wi-Fi, uh, etc. So what we can do is actually turn off some of the additional uh, things that are running in the background just to help save a little bit more power. Some of these things may require root access so you may need to be rooted. Um, this is kind of some optional stuff but it's more advanced and it'll help uh, improve the quality of the experience. So what we'll do is we'll start with Yavi 1 on. Go ahead and tap that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to hit add action again. Perfect. And what we can do is we can maybe turn our GPS off and we could turn the Wi-Fi off, for example. So let's do that. Go to GPS and you'll notice, okay, so uh, security limitations, uh, this might not work depending on your phone and version and da 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 da. So, okay. Uh, we're going to say uh, screen on. So we're going to turn on our GPS and we're going to, let's also turn on Wi-Fi. So add action, scroll down. Wi-Fi on, perfect. So now we'll hit back. Now you'll notice when our phone is charging, we're going to run Yavi 1, we're gonna turn on the screen, we're gonna enable GPS, and we're gonna enable Wi-Fi, basically enabling everything that we're gonna to need to use the app. Uh, when our car turns off, we can then maybe disable GPS, we can disable Wi-Fi to again, save a little bit more power. So let's do that next. We're gonna click on Yavi 1 off, okay, add action. So let's do GPS off, oops, there we go, GPS off, same error, warning message kind of thing, okie dokie, all right, so GPS off, perfect, and now we're going to add a second action, we're going to go down and disable our Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi off, perfect, so now you'll see our Yavi 1 off option, once we're using the battery, we're going to turn off our screen and we're going to disable GPS and disable Wi-Fi. So you can kind of play around with it like this to maybe do a little bit more to help improve your battery life even more so that next time you start up your car after it's maybe been a day or two, hopefully your phone's not dead. That's the idea. Uh, one other thing that I like to add, uh, I find it really handy. Um, I like it when I turn off my car. Uh, if Yavi 1 or if my phone doesn't completely turn off immediately, maybe I need to play around with it real quick, or maybe I turn it off real quick, I need to turn it right back on, or whatever it is. Uh, it's nice if your phone doesn't you know, disable everything and then you have to re-enable it immediately. So what you can do to give yourself a little bit of buffer, uh, we'll go to Yavi 1 off, and we're gonna tell it to wait a minute before it runs these actions. That way if I need to do anything with my phone or if I need to restart my car real quick, I don't have to go through the shutdown and restart process. So to do this, we're going to go over here to advanced right there and then we're going to hit delay event okay and you can delay it by 30 seconds or a minute or whatever you want for example if you want to delay it for one minute we can do this we'll hit the plus it's now one minute and you can see uh, the number of minutes that must pass between this event being triggered and the actions being fired 
So we'll hit OK. Perfect. So now we're going to go back real quick. And you'll notice our uh, Yavi 1 off section has been updated. Now it says uh, once we're running the battery, we're going to delay for a minute. And then if I really am done with using my phone, uh, at that point, then turn off the screen and disable GPS and disable Wi-Fi. So as you can see, there's definitely some uh, advanced stuff that you can help to just kind of improve the overall quality of the experience. But the general idea is basically when your car starts up, run the app you know, and wake everything up. Or once you're done driving, turn everything off shut down and go into like a low power sleep mode. So that's the basic idea here. Um, you can of course play with this, maybe play with different triggers. Uh, you could trigger maybe if you don't have a dedicated phone and you're using your phone more regularly, you can set it up to maybe I only want this trigger to be when I'm in the car, not when I plug it in at home. So if that's the case, you may want to trigger off something else other than plugging the phone into the power because it'll launch Yavi 1 when you're at home and that can be kind of annoying and your phone will shut down when you unplug it at home which is also kind of annoying. So you could potentially trigger off your uh, your car's Bluetooth. Um, I've noticed phones like to connect and disconnect while you're driving so you'll have your phone like waking up and shutting down and stuff so experiment with that see if it works. Uh, it doesn't work very well trying to connect to the Yavi 1 Bluetooth module that was the first thing I tried. Uh, one thing that you could do is if your phone supports NFC you can actually put an NFC chip uh, in your phone mount for your car. So once you put your phone in the car phone mount, the phone recognizes, hey, I'm in the car. And in that situation, it'll go ahead and do everything. It'll launch Yavi 1, etc. And then when you take your phone out of the car mount, it recognizes, hey, I'm not here anymore. Then it goes through the shutdown process. So you can do uh, more advanced triggers and whatnot to help improve things even further. Uh, my phone doesn't support uh, NFC near field communication and uh, I don't have any of the chips because of that so uh, I'm triggering off the power source but again you can trigger off whatever you want you can tweak and play with this however you like uh, but this is the general idea as far as triggering when your phone is plugged in and launching the app and then once you're done driving everything will shut down so uh, there you go that's how it works again uh, take a look at the link in the video description um, I'll point you to the app again it's called Llama and uh, that's how I do it so hope that helps thanks for watching bye bye